The most common way to disable enemies or remove them from the battlefield completely is to fire at them using a ranged weapon. There are a number of ranged weapons in Phoenix Point, some firing single shots such as sniper rifles and pistols, but many of them fire rounds in bursts. There are two main ways to aim and fire at a target in Phoenix Point. There's the automatic or snap aim, and there's manual aim. Here we have our assault soldier selected who is carrying an assault rifle. The assault rifle fires shots in bursts of six rounds. We can aim at the target by pressing the default F key or clicking on the crosshair on the bottom right hand of the action bar. This now places us in the snap aim mode of firing. We can use the tab key to cycle between the available targets that are in our soldier's line of sight. Or we can manually click on the enemy icons above the action bar at the bottom of the screen. If you have experience playing turn-based tactical games, you may be familiar with the concept of a chance to hit or a hit percentage. In games like these, there are usually a series of statistics, both offensive and defensive, that are used to calculate the chance to hit each target. When you fire, a dice is rolled against that number to determine if there is a hit or a miss. Phoenix Point doesn't use this system and therefore you will never see a chance to hit or a hit percentage. Phoenix Point uses a realistic ballistic system where each individual projectile is simulated in the physics engine of the game. You can see projected onto our target a cyan coloured crosshair. This represents where all of our shots will hit. You will notice that as the enemy moves around in its idle animation, that the crosshair tracks the movement of the enemy. You will also notice that the crosshair is made up of two concentric circles. Before we go any further, we're going to explore the manual aiming mode. This can be accessed by clicking the crosshair to the right of the fire weapon button, or you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. As we zoom in, we switch into the manual aiming mode. We can now use the mouse or controller to freely aim where we fire. As we zoom further in by pushing forwards on the mouse wheel, the crosshair gets larger. If we highlight enemies, we can actually see information about the individual body parts. Let's take a step back for a moment and have a look at those concentric circles of the crosshair. All of the rounds that are fired in Phoenix Point travel in a cone known as the Cone of Fire. The point of the cone starts at the muzzle of the weapon where the rounds emanate from and the cone gets larger as it travels further away from the shooter. This means it is more difficult to hit a target further away as the end of the cone is larger than that closer to the shooter. The outer circle of the crosshair represents the cone of fire. Every round fired from the weapon will land somewhere within this outer circle. Rounds have an approximate 50% chance to land within the smaller circle. Even with manual aiming mode selected, it is possible to cycle between targets using the tab key. One of the first things that you will notice in manual aiming mode is that the enemies are still moving, but time has been slowed down drastically. This is to make it easy for the player to aim. Remember that shots won't always land in the exact centre of the crosshair, but anywhere within that outer circle. Therefore, even if you have a particular body part highlighted in the centre of the crosshair, it doesn't mean that that is the body part where the rounds will hit. This particular target, which is right in front of us, is very close. We have the entire crosshair filled with the enemy target. Therefore, it is very unlikely that any of our shots are going to miss. If we select another target that is further away, and this one will be a good example, we will go back into free aiming mode, we can see here, because this target is further away, it does not fill the entirety of our crosshair. There are areas around the outer circle where bullets could travel and not actually hit the enemy. There's also a significant piece of cover that the enemy is standing behind in the guise of this burnt out vehicle that will absorb any shots that hit it. If we were to fire at the enemy from here, it's likely that some of our rounds would hit but it's also likely that some of the rounds would go wide and some would hit the cover that it's standing behind. The more accurate a weapon, the smaller the cone of fire. Here with our sniper selected, he currently has his pistol, which is a relatively inaccurate weapon. If we go ahead and take aim at one of the enemies, let's go and choose this one over to our left that's a little bit further away. 
we can see that the crosshair is approximately the size of the head, torso and pincer of the enemy that we are aiming at. If we go ahead and switch to our sniper rifle, which is a much more accurate weapon, and then go and take aim at the same enemy, you can now see that the size of the crosshair is actually just the size of the enemy's head. It's much easier to hit the exact part of the enemy you want to if you have a more accurate weapon or the enemy is closer. Many weapons have the ability to penetrate or completely destroy cover. This means it is possible to hit enemies that you can't actually see. We're going to use our heavy, who is currently selected, and attempt to fire at this Arthron hiding behind the wall. And we know where he is, but if we actually try and aim at him, we'll find that we can't see him simply because we don't have a line of sight. We scan around the battlefield. He's actually here behind this wall. However, we know he's there, and using the Hell Cannon, we should be able to fire straight through the wall. This is an excellent way to do damage to enemies that aren't in your line of sight. As all of the projectiles in Phoenix Point are physically simulated, they will cause damage to whatever they hit. That can be the target you're aiming at, another enemy that you hit accidentally, props or cover around the battlefield, along with friendly soldiers. With our assault selected, let's fire into this group of four Arthrons over to our right. We're going to use the manual aim and pick a spot approximately at the midpoint between two different Arthrons. As you can see, we cause damage to two of those targets. <laughs> 